Welcome back everyone, Fry Tuck here. This is my epoch. <clears throat> okay, so um, many of you guys have been hearing me talk for probably the last week or so about a uh, somebody buying out my Walmart wish list. Well, that uh, most of that package has uh, arrived today. I guess that there's going to be one more shipment, but the important stuff that was really needed uh, actually showed up uh, today. So uh, Sam and I got back here, waited about an hour and a half, and then it was delivered. So we walked up, got it back. And so I've got a little bit of a setup here. So let me kind of um, share with you uh, a little bit of what's going on and why each piece of gear is important and then we're going to unbox it okay so you see my hammock uh, a, a subscriber sent me a uh, link to another guy that he specializes in hammocks his name's Sh uh, suge uh, he knows that's his name because it's on his hat or whatever but uh you know it, I, I have actually gotten my hammock set up properly uh he talks about 30 percent angle now he was talking about anywhere from you know tw uh, 10 foot to 12 foot uh hammocks and you know kind of how to be able to do it the way that you uh, that fits best for you and your size so uh I i'm not exactly sure how long this hammock is because it was given to me uh but it uh, I'm hoping that it works. Uh, if not, I'm going to end up getting a shorter hammock because the uh, the gear that's coming is important. So you see under there where the blue part is, what's going to be there is what's called an under quilt. So think of it like a blanket that's attached to your hammock so that uh, you can keep warm. So when you got the breeze going at night, you're not, uh, you're, you're, you're you're not cold okay because that's been that, that's the hardest part about sleeping in a hammock is that you get to feel that breeze and the actual temperatures because of how thin the material is versus what you get on the ground where you get to actually kind of like you know get some sort of warmth back uh, and, and the ground stays a certain temperature so anyways uh, this is one of the few drawbacks about a hammock especially in colder weather but uh it looks like we're going to get that fixed so that's going to be the first thing that we got coming and then also a rain fly. Uh, also, uh, I will be trying out the um, the action camera and uh, with the chest mount. And so you guys are going to get to see a little bit of that included in this footage. And oh, I got a pair of boots coming and uh, shirts and pants. So let's go ahead and get into this and get it open. Uh, at, and let's get started. Also forgot to mention that she put some paracord in here for me. Oh, look at that right there i'm getting good at this okay so let's look at what we have here so this is uh please keep pushing. okay tactical clothes okay is this the the pants outdoor okay so this is the um here is the action camera uh as you see here there's the box we'll open each piece of it little by little as you see, Sam is really wanting to get into this. Ah, oh, yes, 50 foot of paracord. You, anytime anybody wants to send me paracord, until I get about 500 feet of it, you can always send paracord if, you, if you're sending a package. Okay, so... Um, oh, here is something else extra that she put in there, which is, this is like tarp clamps, uh, so that it keeps my tarp from rip, ripping. I'm going to have to definitely try this out. Um, let's see here. We have, this should be the under quilt. Uh, as you see, it's got its own little stuff sack, but I'm not going to use the stuff sack. I'm going to repurpose the, the, the sack. Okay. Here is the chest mount. And, uh, as you see, Sam's inspecting it, making sure it's safe to be able to use. And then of course the ever needed boots. Oh man, I'm so looking forward to all of this. Everything in here, I, I, I desperately needed. So thank you, uh, thank you again uh, for all the kindness that you, as my subscribers, show me. Because sometimes I really need it, and uh, you guys always come through when I do. So um, let's go ahead and try this piece by piece. Okay, so these are the Goodyear hiking boots. I think they're called Goodyear Teton hiking boots. Um, they're they're actually for they're about as heavy as a pair of high tops. Uh, so they're not that heavy, uh, especially compared to the boots that I had uh, last year. So, and as you see here, uh, it looks like it's got decent tread here. I should get 300 miles plus out of this, maybe more because they're boots. I know the trail runners you get 300 miles from. So uh, these I'm hoping to get 300 plus. Uh, we'll see. Hear that off in the background? 
to be able to, where is it? There is a Chinook. I can't see it here, but I can see it with my eyes. I just can't see it on the camera, but it's right about there. Doing military exercises today. Okay, so as you can see, these, oops, these are the boots. Um, well, they're just like any other boots. I'm probably gonna need to put a pad in it uh, just to give myself some extra cushion. But as far as durability, that's really why I wanted these. Uh, you know, that was the most important part. They're comfortable uh, and you know, you can wear them, but you're probably gonna, if you want to have, you know, like more cushion, like you get with some of these memory foam shoes, uh, you're gonna have to add some yourself because this is gonna, you know, standard boot liner. Okay, next up, the under quilt. So this is as big as it is. Let me just kind of zoom out a little bit. So this is my hand. So probably, you know, that's about the amount of space. But again, I'm not going to put it in the stuff sack because you get better use of your space and it preserves your stuff sack just and everything just by stuffing it in your pack because you pull it in and out every day. You know, if I was pulling it in and out for a couple of weeks every year, that'd be a little bit different. Thing to note about the stuff sack that is... Um, a little bit different than what I'm used to. You see these guides right here, okay? That way, because usually they crisscross, but they don't have guides. And um, this is, yeah, this is the the uh, water resistant uh, type bag. It's the the material. I don't, I, I forget what they call it, but um, it feels like it may be water resistant, uh, which is good, especially if you want to keep your stuff dry. Okay, as you can see, Sam and I are. Wow. Okay. Well, for some reason it won't zoom out. Okay. So you see Sam and I are here in the hammock. And then as you see, it's here. It's a little different than what I was expecting. But as you see, it's got that up there. Plus, um, it attaches to the, to the, uh, to the loops. And I got it also way down here as well. And so, yeah. And as you can see, Sam, Sam's already too warm. That's why she's got her legs doing what she's doing. This is how you got hurt the first time, dummy. Stop it. Move your feet. Move your feet. Move your feet. Move your feet. Okay, thank you. Be gentle. So, ew, gross. So, anyways, this is, um, this is our, uh, this is how it is. And I can actually feel the warmth underneath here. It's actually pretty comfortable. This will keep us warm down to uh, 15 degrees uh, Celsius, which is, um, or excuse me, 15 degrees Fahrenheit uh, is what this thing is. It's an extreme at, but its comfort is like 40. So, uh, you know, I mean, and as long as, I mean, we can, there's some things that I can do to modify it to take it down to zero or even possible sub-zero because of you know some of the things i've learned in my travels and so you know for for what it was that i needed and everything like that um i think i may need to get me a smaller hammock uh not because there's two person hammocks but this is like i think this might be a 12 foot hammock and this thing is 10 foot so as you can see on the ends now if you if you're somebody who does this uh regularly uh let me know uh just maybe you could tell me if I'm doing something wrong but it has as you see here is it has these these clamps and then I also have one that can go around us over here but um you know you got the clamps and then it's got um like the the I don't know the flex string the bungee string uh with a carabiner on it that I attach up there to the uh uh, uh to to the strap so I was correct. This is actually the tarp uh, or the, the rain fly. So let's go ahead and get this set up because if you look up there in those clouds, it says it's not going to rain. We got less than a 20% chance, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I want to see if it get, how well it gets set up. Okay, so some things to, to kind of keep in mind. This tarp is actually pretty, um, pretty heavy, which uh, means that it's, it's definitely going to be durable. But also, if you see, it comes with spikes and it also comes with paracord. Okay, now I have finally set it up. As you see, uh, it comes with four, uh, four cables. 
and so I had to take the uh, the, the paracord from my tarp and uh, uh, cut some of those up because they just it's this is a really good tarp. Um, and here's the thing: it's 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 a rain cover, yes, for a hammock, but it also can double as a ground uh, as a ground tarp. And as you see, there's the logo, uh, Free Soldier. And then if you look in here, so here is, and it comes right down to here. So as you see, it'll soak, if the rain comes in, it'll soak there, but it won't come down here. At least that's hoping. And as you see, there's the clip for the other thing. But as you see in there, now I can't fully stand up, but you know, I, I can I can most of the way stand up in there. Uh, as I have kept pulling this thing tighter to the ground, as you see how the uh, the ridge line goes and it's got a nice, um, yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty durable. Uh, so, and as you see, it has multiple points where you can tie off. And when you're dealing with wind, uh, you wanna have more tie off points that way. It, it kind of load balances across uh, everything else that you have. But this is this is really nice. Uh, I, I really, th this is this is a good addition. Uh, although the orange part, I may have to take something black and color that uh, just because if I want to remain incognito, as you see, this is kind of uh, announcing me in some ways. Okay, so this says 4K Ultra HD. It's waterproof down to 40 meters. You could do time lapse and it's got an external microphone. So let's open up the box and see what's in here. So as you can see, here's the manual. Here is the camera and it comes in a media case. That's that's important. Um, and I, I knew it would come with that. But as you see there, okay, so this has got an adjustable screen. Um, gonna have to really get into this and play with this a little bit. So here is one battery and a backup battery, which is good. Um, and then from here, how do I open this thing? Uh, here is all of the accessories. It come, oh, there's the, holy cow. Okay, so uh, straps. Okay, something more probably for handheld. Uh, you got some zip ties. You got, some, oh, here's the extra. Ooh, that seems like a decent microphone. It's also got, um, it's got a dead cat on it. So, and then attachment accessories for, okay, so there's USB. There's a replacement. Uh, door there is the okay record stop record okay so part of this is like um so something like this is like uh, uh we'll go through there okay so i'm gonna go through and kind of um uh, look at this piece by piece and i'll talk about it more in just a minute so as you can see here at the bottom that's how that works if you see okay so this is and then the OK button is right up there. 